Well, good evening and good weekend to you. This is David Van with Sooner Politics, and it is Weekend Report. Glad to have you all here tonight. I hope you're enjoying uh, the warmth of inside on this snowy and cold winter night in January. We've got a lot of things going on in the news this week. It's really been a big week, so uh, let's get right into it. Headline, Stitt Takes Office. This Monday, Kevin Stitt and all of the statewide elected leaders uh, took their oath of office. It was a fantastic day down at the Capitol for the inauguration. In fact, there were a number of events all over the state leading up to it and some afterward. There's a lot of excitement in the state. Uh, there's also some people that we are uh, bidding farewell to, and some of them uh, with a lot of excitement we're saying goodbye to. Uh, Mary Fallon has left office. Uh, now, Sarah and uh, Kevin Stitt and their rather large family are now the occupants of <laughs> the governor's mansion, but they don't want to live there, at least not now. I mean, I find out that that place is, I mean, it's a health hazard right now. Do you know that basement is full of water? I mean, the plumbing is horrible, the roof leaks. Oh my goodness, I think Kevin might be staying there during the week, but his wife Sarah and the kids are going to stay back in Tulsa at least. I think they're going to go ahead and finish the school year in Tulsa. You know, um, uprooting uh, your whole family when your kids are young, especially in their teen years, it's difficult. And, and the Stitt family is no different than you or I. They're just very typical, good Oklahoma families. And... Uh, Anyway, so we're going to be seeing some major renovation happening at the governor's mansion. Folks, we got to take care of that. I am shocked that the Fallon family, uh, and Christensen family, I guess, uh, yeah, if they've said anything about it, I didn't know it, but I mean, there's mold in there. God, who can live in that? You certainly don't want your kids in there. But uh, Stitt's off and running. He's got some uh, new cabinet posts he's announcing this week. There's plenty more to come. Uh, there are some things I can't talk about yet, but I am fantastically excited about what's going on. Stitt's got a lot of things, a lot of ambitious designs. His, uh, the rest of the statewide uh, elected officers are already hitting it with... Uh, <laughs> Everything they got, Matt Pinnell has been pitching the state, both in and outside the state. You know, he's taking on tourism. Matt's uh, well suited for that. He's his college degree is 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 in business and marketing, and uh, he's excited about building up Oklahoma. That's not all he's going to do, but that's something that traditionally the Lieutenant Governor has spent a lot of focused uh, time on. I did have a chance to speak uh, about a week ago with uh, Randy McDaniel, our new state treasurer. He plans to continue what uh, Ken Miller's been doing with the economic forecasts. Folks, those are great, great uh, resources to find out what's going on in the state economically. So... We're excited. We're getting ready for uh, here in uh, February 4th. We're going to have the State of the State Address. Uh, Governor Stitt's going to be addressing a joint session of our legislature. We're, uh, I'm probably going to try to make it down there for that. Hope to see some of you there. There's a lot of things going on. In fact, that's going to go on to our next issue tonight. <laughs> 